everyone, I'm Monique from Guinea Piggles. In this video, I'm going to show you how to bathe your guinea pigs in a tub on the floor. We have done a video of how to do it in the either in the kitchen sink or in the wash hand basin in the bathroom, but not everybody's confident with doing that, and some people will feel safer if they have tubs on the floor to, to bathe their guinea pigs. So that's what we're going to show you in this video. So let's look at what you need to bathe your guinea pig. You need, um, I'm going to use two tubs today because one we're going to use for rinsing and one for the initial bathing. Two tubs is, is a bit easier. Going to need some shampoo. This is guinea pig and rabbit shampoo, so it's special pet, small pet shampoo. You also need some sort of a jug so that you can just scoop up the water and pour it over your guinea pig's back and that makes it just easier to, to rinse them. I've got three towels. I've got a towel for putting underneath the tubs. I've got another towel for drying the guinea pig when she comes out of the bath and another one to when the other towel gets too, too wet. <laughs> and I've got a hair dryer because I do tend to blow dry the guinea pig um, after the, the bath. Um, if it's hot weather, you don't need to do this and also not all guinea pigs like to be blow dried and you do have to be very careful with with them that they don't get too hot so this is optional um and i've also because i'm bathing sparkles today i'm gonna give her a, i probably won't show you this but i'm gonna give her a haircut first so you might need if you've got a long haired guinea pig also to some scissors a little grooming comb and a, a slicker brush as well. These are really useful for when you're trimming your guinea pig's fur and I do like to do it before I bathe the guinea pig because it makes it easier than all the, if the fur's particularly mucky, that you've got the worst of the, the dirty fur out and it's easy to, to clean them. This is an optional extra but an apron is really handy to protect you from getting too wet and also from the guinea pig hair. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to set it up on the floor so that it's nice and safe if you're concerned. If you've got really lively guinea pigs, this is a really good option. So first of all, I'm going to put a fairly large towel down there. Um, make sure you've got your shampoo on the side and your tubs next to each other. I filled these both with water. When I say filled, have a look at how, how full they are there. Maybe a couple of inches, probably not even that, um, because you don't want them too deep for your guinea pigs. And the way to test the water is how you would test it for a baby's bath. So you put your elbow in like that, and if it feels like a good temperature for you, maybe a little bit cooler, that's fine for a guinea pig. It shouldn't be hot because it's, it's not good for them. They're not going to like that at all. And it definitely shouldn't be too cold. So somewhere, somewhere in between and that's fine. Um, we'll put the jug next to all the other things. And also the towel. This is the towel I'm going to put sparkles in once she comes out the bath. So we'll put that there so we've got it to hand as well. So let's get Sparkles out the cage. Oh, she's having a nice little sleep at the moment. I don't like to disturb her. Let's move this. Hello, sleepy guinea pig. Say hello. <laughs> she's a real cutie. Just given her a, a quick trim and we're going to give her a bath now. So carefully lower your guinea pig, make sure you have them securely and lower them into the water. They can wriggle a little bit, but just, just be gentle with them, but firm but gentle is, is what's most important. And then I tend to hold them like this because this hand can always stop them from escaping. I've got one hand free basically so 
and I can feel if she, on my hand I can feel if she's going to move anywhere she's vibrating slightly because she doesn't like she doesn't really like valves but she'll be all right she does tend to look like a bit like a drowned rat when she has a bath so I'm just putting plenty of water into her fur so she's all nice and soaking wet ready for the shampoo now she doesn't really get mucky on her top bit so I'm not going to concentrate so much on there it's really around her bottom and underneath that she she gets mucky I will shampoo her up here as well but not so much so next thing get your shampoo sometimes I try and put it into my hand but it's actually easier just squirting straight onto the guinea pig so don't use too much when you're doing this method because you don't want too much to rinse out so I would just put about that amount and try and get some onto your hand and firstly clean around their bottom area because it does get really mucky around there and another important place to clean is their feet their feet get very dirty sometimes so just make sure you clean each foot and, and their legs as well, especially the back ones. <laughs> Don't forget their tummies because they get a bit mucky down there too. At least when you when you do your guinea pigs, when you bathe your guinea pigs in the tub on the floor, if they do happen to get out, just make sure the, the room is safe. But if they do happen to get out, then they're not going to hurt themselves. She doesn't mind too much, actually. Oops. <laughs> she doesn't mind too much, actually. She's... She's vibrating a little bit, but she doesn't tend to try and escape. She should be fairly clean now. What I'm going to do... Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm just going to use the jug just to pour over. Oh. <laughs> You're not so keen on that bit, are you? Hey. Obviously there's shampoo in the water so you can't get them thoroughly rinsed in this which is why I like to have a second bowl. So now we're going to move her over to the next one, to the cleaner water and give her a really good rinse. There you are. You're getting used to it now aren't you? So this will get rid of all the rest of the bits of shampoo that might be left in her fur. It's important to give them a really good rinse because soap can really irritate their skin. Even if it is pet shampoo, you don't want to leave any of it in there. In there. Just give a final rinse for your feet. now put her on this one and quickly pop her up there you are all clean <laughs> it's all done now apart from the blow dry <laughs> so when you dry them before you, if you are going to blow dry them, you do need to dry their fur a little bit first. And if you're not going to blow dry them, then just give them a gentle towel dry. Don't don't go rubbing um, because they don't they won't like that, and they'll probably get quite scared. So I tend to just do like 
more gentle massaging movements with the towel. And also, before I blow dry her, I'm going to just give her a little comb through. Actually, it's a, brush. It's a slicker brush. It's got fur in it from before. It'll be, but it's fine. I know, you want to go back, don't you? She's not very happy. Come on. I'm not going to give her a complete blow dry because it's it's not a cold day, so she'll be all right. Just swapped over the towels um, because the other one was rather wet, so I don't want her feeling uncomfortable. I've put her in a nice dry towel and I've got the hair dryer ready to go. I usually use this on the lowest setting so it doesn't blow too strong onto her. And on the... I've got a cold heat, a medium and a hot heat on this, so I usually put it on the medium heat um, for her. And the important thing to remember is to keep the, the hairdryer moving, don't focus it in one place because it could end up hurting them. But you always keep your hand around where you're drying so that you know how hot it is. So I'm going to stop talking now because this is going to be very noisy. I'm actually not going to dry her any more than that because she's not really enjoying it very much and I think she's dry enough. I've taken off the worst of the, the dampness and as I say, it's not a cold day. It isn't hot either, but it's not a cold day. It's fairly mild and she'll be fine like that. It'll dry off pretty soon, I should imagine. You've had enough, haven't you, Sparkles? But I'll show you how lovely she looks now. Have a look. Don't you look beautiful? Hey. I think she's earned a pea flake. 